early last week I wrote a tutorial and then did a video on how to route the AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. I saw a lot of people had success with this method, but some wanted to revert back to stock and unroute their device. Anytime you, you go and do a major root modification to your smartphone, it's always good to have a backup plan to revert things how they were. And that's what I want to show you today with how to unroute the major United States wireless versions of the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Like usual, this tutorial requires that you download a few files and if you look in the description below this video you will find a link to the full tutorial in that full tutorial on my website will have all the links that are required to do this tutorial So to start off, you're going to have to download and install the Samsung USB drivers if you haven't already. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to reboot the PC after you install those USB drivers. Then you're going to need to download and extract the modified Odin program to the PC. Now some AT&T Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge users ran into issues with this modified Odin program. If that happens to you, which you should always try, even AT&T users should always try the modified version first. But if you run into any issues, go ahead and download the regular Odin version 3.0. I think it's 3.1.2. Like I said, I have these linked on my website, so check the full tutorial. Once you have Odin done, then you're going to need to download the firmware file for your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Once that has been downloaded, it is a big file, a couple of gigabytes. Extract the contents of that firmware to the PC. Once all of that is done, we're going to need to boot the Galaxy S7 into download mode. So to do that, we're going to power off the device. Once your phone is completely off, you want to press and hold the power, home, and volume down buttons at the same time. This will take you to the screen. We're just going to press the home key to get into download mode. And then once you are in download mode, you want to go ahead and connect the Galaxy S7 to the PC with a micro USB cable. So as you can see here, this is the contents of the Galaxy S7 firmware file that we just extracted. We have five files here, but we only need two. I'm sorry, we only need three. We need the AP, the CP, and the CSC. So we're going to go ahead and launch Odin. We're going to click the AP button. Go into our extracted folder. 
and then select the AP file, the file that starts with AP. It's going to take a while to check the MD5 for that. You'll probably notice that it says not responding. Just wait and give it time. Once that has been loaded, we're going to click the CP button, and then we're going to select the file that starts with CP. And lastly, we're going to click on the CSC button, and then pick the file that starts with CSC. Once all three of these files have been loaded into the proper section, You'll notice that these checkboxes are all checked. Then you just need to click the Start button. You'll see a meter, a progress bar at the bot on your phone. It's telling you how far along the progress is. You just want to wait and let Odin do its thing. Now this is going to take a long time. I say a long time, but it's probably just going to take an, maybe two, three, four minutes. That's because it's completely resetting the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. And if you didn't read the full tutorial yet and didn't see the note, this will wipe all the data off of your device because we're completely reinstalling the software. It will be as if we pulled the device out of the box, it will boot back up to Android and we'll have to activate Android and log into our Google account. You can see the progress bar is still moving on the phone, just like it is in this first box with system, because it's writing the system image now. This is that big AP file that we loaded in, that 5 gig file.
and once it completes we're going to see the Galaxy S7 reboot then it's going to go through the typical typical boot animation sequence and then it's going to take us to the Android activation screen As you can see, the Galaxy S7 rebooted. It's booting into the recovery mode. And now we have a progress bar saying installing system update. Then the Galaxy S7 is going to reboot one last time. And since everything has been wiped, and we'll go back to our Android activation screen, root will be completely gone. You'll be able to use Samsung Pay again, and you'll be able to accept over-the-air updates again.